Welcome back to Strong's Garage. Hey, I'm Matt. Jim here. And it's been a while. It has been a little bit. We've been uh, very, 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 very busy. Yeah, so which is uh, quite good. It's good, but getting busier and busier on the incline. Yeah, so. it cuts into the YouTube time. Oh, it certainly does, but uh, it's all impressive things that uh, people will enjoy. Yeah, we've been uh, working towards a lot of stuff in the last well, year, year and a half, and yeah. paperwork and things coming to fruition, so it's been really good. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, just one of those things where you got to do it. Oh, exactly. You just take the time and yeah, business stuff and just yeah. everything. So and we, we've been busy, uh, Cassie and us have been busy planning the Model T races for this fall that we're going to be having. So that takes some time, but uh, uh, we won't whine about it too much. No, no, no. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, Big thanks to all you guys that are still watching the videos. Yes. And, yeah. and even on Patreon, we took a bit of a sabbatical, but we're back full force over there. If you're interested in helping us out, Patreon is the place. Uh, what's cool is we've we've decided to start a bit of a Strong's Garage library, which is we're going to be scanning uh, a bunch of our literature that we have and tool catalogs and stuff and posting them on Patreon, sort of a resource. So if you're able to or so inclined, yeah. And if not, everything will still be free yeah. on YouTube. We still got here, the YouTube. So yeah, there's still the excitement of uh, today, Model A. Model A day. Yeah, yeah. And Again. so. From us being so busy, we've filled the shop with stuff. It's and, just uh, uh, too full. So, so in an effort to try and make some space, we've got to combine the chassis and the cab again there for James Yeah, Cooper. right. So the best way to make a lot of space is to put things back together. Yeah, that you've taken apart. Yeah, so. they seem to kind of. It's quite interesting. Yeah, you blow a car apart, it will fill three garages. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> funny. So what we're gonna do today is uh, change the rear spring. Put the rear end back in and hopefully put the body back on the frame. Yeah, because it's kind of like a wheelbarrow with the rear end out of it. So yeah. we can get to a wheel rolling chassis and then roll that under the but body. But we're going to turn it from nothing into at least a Bennett buggy. Yeah, at least a Bennett buggy. So if we need to, the horses can be hitched to it and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. be out of the rain. Yeah, I guess we're creeping up on the 30s here. 20s, yeah. 30s. So. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> well, let's go put this thing together. Yeah. Okay, well, like we said, we've been busy with other things, but now... And it's sort of selfish for doing this, we need the space. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, as a project takes up way more space in its pieces than it does together. So. Yeah. Because we lowered the front of the car, Jim now has to lower the back of the car. So one of the old tricks that's pretty straightforward and easy to do is to put a Model T Ford spring in the back of a Model A. Yeah, so it's all Ford parts and yeah, it'll be... Uh, yeah, there's only a few tiny modifications a person needs to do and other than that, it's good yeah, to go. Right. Plug and play more or less. Because so. yeah, the spring difference, it's obviously shorter, so that uh, gives you your height uh, change. Yeah. And uh, Jim went ahead and he's already rebushinged and rebuilt these spring bushings, so they're new. Yeah, and yeah if you've noticed, we don't swear on this channel much, so I thought I'd uh, avoid that by uh, doing all the bushing work off film. <laughs> now you can use the plastic bushings, the modern bushings, but uh, I prefer to use always the original type because they just seem to last longer, they fit better, and they look better. Yeah, you drive them out, you put them in, you ream them to fit, and they're just a nice... Perfect. Yeah. So the rear end's been cleaned up. Uh, we haven't done the brake set, we'll do that. But we figured what we should do is put the spring on the rear end, put the rear end in the frame, and then put the body back on the frame for the first time in months. Yeah, exactly. And get kind of the, the per horse back on the cart, so to speak. Yeah, a little bit of perspective. <laughs> so anyway, let's get to it. All right, with the old. In with the less old. In with the older. older. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll get one side in, and then we'll just uh, use our port of power and push the other side over. So get this side in, so it's square. Hey, 
Okay, we'll put our shackles together there. Oh, wonderful. Would you like to pass me a cotter pin or two? Uh, fresh from the Ford tin. It's amazing you uh, put cotter pins in there, they come out genuine Ford. <laughs> Well, if you haven't caught yourself up on the old episodes of uh, the spring coming out and the cross member repair, I highly recommend you do. But you'll uh, remember if you did watch it, that we've got these crazy welded up uh, kind of garbage clamps here that we'll uh, refurbish. For that, clean up our U-bolts, which look quite nice otherwise. And then we've got our four nuts. Though they appeared quite uh, stout, the welds were merely a uh, for effect. <laughs> yeah, superficial, if you will. Two little spots holding, so it was an easy removal. Now we just got to grind the remnants of the welds away, and we'll have a better looking uh, spring pads. Another thing is uh, we're going to restore the original nuts by just chasing all the threads. So we'll just do that, and then they'll go together like a hand in a glove. Moment of truth, we make the spring on for the axle. If you look here, you'll see these leaves are tapered. Uh, that's a 1917 and older model T-spring, so pretty cool old spring, the tapered leaf T. But she should ride perfect. Well, now that the uh, spring is in, frame is down, located, we can put the U-bolts in. It's uh, very important when you're using old stuff like this to restore it, which oh, yeah. means chasing the threads and running a tap through the... Uh, like just chasing all the threads because they should just go together like like perfect so then you're always maintaining your torque spec too oh yeah right like if you hit your torque spec and there's still a quarter inch before it hits uh part <laughs> you know something's off and the other thing we do is just put a little bit of uh, a little bit of copper coat on them just for for the next guy and we gave him a wire brushing and just a very dusting of, of uh, low gloss black yeah. Just to kind of match the patina. A quick inspection for cracks or anything. They look yeah. beautiful. And they should just zip in. Old Ford Vanadium steel. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That. Located, located. Right. When you're doing these transverse leaves on an early Ford, it doesn't matter if it's a Model T or a 48 Ford, um, even tension on both sides to bring it down, otherwise the car will sit to the left or to the right sometimes if you over tighten them. So, so we won't be able to set that till the body's on and all the weight's in it. If you want to get real haywire, you get all the weight like Jim's sitting in it so that when he's in it, it's always flat. Ah, oh, get real particular. Or if you have a heavy passenger, you set it the other <laughs> way. Now, before we move the chassis into position under the car. I'll just put a little bit of wire on this torque tube because there's nothing holding it from not digging into the ground. There! Beautiful! Self-contained. Time to 
to reacquaint these old friends. Yeah, yeah, they spent years and years together and six to eight months apart, so. Time to re reunite, they yeah, should be happy yeah. to get back together, so. so. But we're just gonna loosely put it on here so we can get the splash aprons on and off for uh, ease of accessing stuff, but uh, yeah, it'll at least look like a car again. Okay. Cheers. Oh, perfect. Just like that, you got twice the space. Twice the space, exactly. Yeah, you've got uh, your garage space back, and you can tell by the grin on my face, I'm excited about this thing again. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to stay focused on a car when it's in 10 million pieces. Oh, you need that perspective. Right, and I had stuff piled on the roof, and it just. They it make looks a wonderful like shelf. They really do make. I know they're nice and flat. It's kind of springy, safe speed spot for the glass. But uh, alas, it's time for this thing to go back together. So now that we got the body back on. We gotta, we'll have to put all the wood blocks back under it and get it bolted down, but it can stay. And then we can take the splash aprons off and we'll finish our brakes. We gotta do the back brakes yet. Finish hooking up the front, the steering box. We got, we're going to rivet in the cross member and straighten the frame up here, so that will do. And we're gonna uh, get a motor built for it. Yeah. So we're just gonna build, I think, a Model A motor for now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got quite a few. Model A motors and parts laying around, so we'll just whip together a quick Model A engine for the summer. For sure, anybody who's not been on Patreon, I urge you to check it out, but oh, we've yeah. been uh, collecting all the stuff to build Model T and A motors. Yeah, so we can line bore and cross bore and up bore and down, up bore, down and bore and every kind yeah. of boring you need. Yeah. And, uh, boring, you might call us. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll put together an engine for this, but all in all, I'm kind of excited to get it uh, going. I'm very excited to see it as a car. Summer's yeah. fast approaching, Jeff. I know, yeah. It'll soon, well, we've got uh, two more months and the days will start getting shorter and I'll have to put the heater in here. And... Back towards the winter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah. We're going to keep at it. Well, there you have it. Model A. One. Peace. I know. It feels great. It looks wonderful together again. So Yeah, it kind of rekindles the old fire. You need that sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, that. even if it's got a... Yeah, we've talked about it several times. I know there are friends that are into cars. Sometimes you got to put stuff together just to get your, yeah, your fire kindled up against, uh, to get the fire <laughs> stoked on your project again. Because <laughs> it just drinking coffee all day. <laughs> Talking about is faster than his brain. Jeez, got to slow down. <clears throat> Jim's real excited again, which is good. Sometimes you got to push it outside the garage and have a look at it. Yeah, just to get the dust off. Re going. Because it seems like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. But there is, in fact, if you keep going a little bit at a time. Oh yeah, it all adds up, and so as long as you keep working on it, once you don't, it uh, it will never get it'll done. It'll never get done. It's amazing. The, you don't work on something, nobody ever comes in and finishes it for you. I don't, oh, I don't understand. Great, yeah. Tried that for years. <laughs> <laughs> at any rate, thanks again for watching, folks. Please like and subscribe. We're really trying to put out more videos again. I know we took a month there, but we've caught up on a few things, you know, life. But we're here, and thanks for watching. You bet. We'll catch you on the next one.